is an article from April 20th in 1911 in the Beaver Herald, which is from a newspaper from Beaver, Oklahoma. These are residents from Home Creek. Carrie Barker and family visited W.R. Barker's Sunday evening. Mr. Jordan and wife visited Newt Taylor and family Saturday. Willie Howe and wife and Lawrence Hobbs and wife took dinner with Jim Barker Sunday. Claude Haskell and wife and Orville and Ed Haskell are going to start to Colorado Tuesday. Walter Bush and family took dinner with Mr. Cunningham Sunday. Lucy William visited her cousin Alva Barker a few days last week. Hello, Bush Chapel, wake up. Raymond Twentier says he is glad Mrs. Barker sets her hens close to the road which I think is someone being a little bit humorous. Gordon Chamberlain's little boy is very sick at this writing. While Walter Bush is going home from Mr. Barker's last Saturday, his horse threw him off, bruising him up pretty bad, but he managed to get home all right. His horse was not accustomed to a saddle. John and Myrtle Schoonover have returned from a visit back east. W.B. Barker and son C.B. went to Zelma last week, bringing back two jacks, one black, one gray. He sold one jack to Mr. Black of the South Flat for $500. W.H. Barker started to Glacier, Texas, with broom corn for Mr. Groendike this week. J.A. Barker is up and around again doing his work. Austin Humphrey helped Charles Schoonover fix his well last Thursday. Chaz... Kirky went to Liberal last week for C.C. DeGraw and others after a load of freight. And then here we have a picture of Beaver City in Oklahoma in the 1900s uh, with a sign on the store that reads Truax and Hopkins Undertaking Hardware and Furniture and Ten Shop. So apparently this store was kind of a funeral par parlor. Uh, hardware and furniture <laughs> all, all in one. So we have the 1900 uh, population of Beaver was 112 people. Most of the area depended on cattle ranching until 1902 to 1903. That's when the Homestead Act brought some farmers in who they would call pumpkin rollers. At a hotel, a general hardware store, a couple of newspapers and a telephone exchange. By 1910, they're tripled, tripled in population to 326 people. So that was about the time that this newspaper article was written. Um, to see the images that are in this video, you can click on the link for the Ticky Tacky blog. Uh, the link is under the video. And it is also on the channel page for Ticky Tacky. Please like and subscribe.